Hi guys, I'm Marie. And I'm Maddie. And we are down here with the kittens, so sorry for that distraction. But we wanted to pop on today. We have some big news. Some big news. And I know some of you have heard about this already, and we are so appreciative of our listeners for tagging us and letting us know what was going on because we would have missed it. Yeah, we would have totally missed the live. We would have totally missed the announcement if you guys didn't yeah, so tell us about it. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate you guys looking out for us and keeping an ear out for us. And um, yeah, we are here today to let you guys know that the remains of Rachel Lackaduck have been found. And they were found yesterday by Bud Carr and his search crew. Um they decided to go back up to Hidden Lake. And this is the the case that we covered, the Hidden Lake Lookout Tower. Yeah. We covered it for Rachel last year on the one-year anniversary of her missing. And then we had Tom. Yeah, Tom Simmons, when he went missing, we re-released it. And we also released the video footage that I had made when I went and hiked that particular hike. And Bud Carr decided to go back up there for the weekend and they were gonna camp out and do some searching and he found out on his way to the trailhead that the trailhead was actually closed because they had a crew in there uh, watching the pincer fire, forest fire. So they weren't gonna be able to go up. So they weren't gonna be able to go up the trailhead and they decided that they were going to just go in a different way. He told um, Rachel's dad that he, maybe this was a gift horse and maybe this would give them the opportunity to see things from a different angle. Yeah. And if you guys want to see his live that he did on this, it's actually on his Instagram. He did post it so you can go back and look at it. It's crazy. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. And it's a crazy, yeah. crazy story. So it just shows that there's no hope lost after it's been two years. Rachel's been missing two years and all of the families that we've done cases on who are still looking for their loved ones. Hey, you guys, we're, we're kind of in the middle of something over here. Oh my God. All I saw on the camera was goose go goose, up. Yeah. So yeah, great job, bud. We are so ow. <laughs> naughty. Um, get grandma. We're so okay. Okay, stop, stop. Um, we're so happy for the family to have that closure and have yeah. the ability to really just start the grieving process. Because I really, I think it's so hard when your loved one is still missing when to you actually don't know do that. that. Knowing. Yeah. Um, but now it gives so much more hope to like Sam Sayer and the other girls who are still missing out there. Yeah, and so in the last 10 years, Bud has been looking for Sam Sayers. He's been looking for Rachel Lackaduck. He's been looking for Patty Krieger. And Sam Sayers is the Best for Peak episode that we did. And Patty Krieger is the Sock Mountain episode that we did. And we also hiked that one as well. So he has invested hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours away from his family, away from his kids, you know, yeah. helping the families and really using his resources and his skill set to try to find their loved ones. So he did say that last year he came within 12 feet of her partial remains. 12 feet. And he tracks everywhere that he goes on GPS. Yeah, so he's come within very close. It just shows you how thick it is up there. Well, and if you look at his, the post that he's made with like his GPS tracking, I mean... It's just like this crazy zigzag of like all the areas that he has searched. So last year they came within 12 feet and then three weeks ago he was up there again and they found that in the search last year they had found a fire and they believed that this fire was made by Rachel. Her dad just said it felt like her. It felt like the way she built her fires. It felt like something she had done. So that's where they started their search from three weeks mm -hmm. ago and they searched from there and headed down i think he said and three weeks ago they came within 30 feet of the entirety of her remains and all of her gear and they still didn't see it 
So like, think about that. We talk about that all the time. Like how does somebody just go missing in the woods? How do they not get found? We just, I, I mean, it's crazy. You cannot imagine how difficult it can be to find yeah. somebody out there. I it's mean, it's crazy. So let's see. Three weeks ago. Okay. So, ow, 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 ow. Okay. It scared me. He attacked the button. Okay. So, yesterday he said that they hiked more than 3,000 vertical feet. Um, and it took them over six hours because of how difficult the terrain was yeah. in this area. And he said that once he found her, the first thing he did was run as fast as he could down the mountain to get service so that he could call Rachel's dad. He wanted to talk to Rachel's dad. He wanted to tell her, we found your girl. We're bringing her home. We found her. And her dad said, I need proof. Like, how do you know it's her? Like, tell me what you saw. And he said, he said, Brad, I saw with my own eyes, her beautiful red hair. And he said at that point, Rachel's dad just lost it. And they knew, like he knew it was his daughter. She does have very, very, she does have beautiful red hair. So it's just, it's so heartbreaking, but we're so relieved at the same time to have this. She's been missing out there for way too long. Way too, way long. too long. And Tom's family got to bring him home and now another family gets to bring somebody home and hopefully, no. hopefully there's more to come. You know, Bud said, maybe this is the year that we bring everybody home. You know, yeah. now we just got to bring Sam home. Sam Sayers. And Patty. Yeah. yeah. So Bud said that she was about 4,500 feet down from the summit on the Western flank between where the trail turns south to the lookout. So that's a pretty like a pretty excessive drop uh -huh. from the lookout um he said it was a brutal hike up brutal where they were it was a brutal hike so um uh, she was found in her sleeping bag curled up she was tucked under a tree depression so probably to take shelter from the elements we don't know obviously a cause of death um, yeah. until the autopsy comes back, uh, I would say that elements, starvation or hypothermia are probably, probably the leading. Hypothermia. Yeah. Hypothermia. yeah. I mean, she has a sleeping bag, but what kind of sleeping bag we don't know exactly. And it was a pretty rough snowstorm, but yeah. she did everything right. She hunkered down. She found, she started a fire. Like she found, which it really just proves that like, no matter what you do, like, it's scary out there. Like even can, being prepared, it things can, be can go scary. wrong. Yeah, because she did everything right. She hid from the wind. She found shelter. She obviously made a fire at some point, probably. Yeah, we'd assume. And it's it's. Stop it! Hey, hey! Do oh, he's gonna stick. So this growling is our one cat, Goose, the white one, who is very territorial over his things. He has a little mini bamboo stick. Yeah, he's a little small piece yeah. of bamboo and he okay. was growling anyway. at his brother about it. Anyway, so yeah, we just wanted to let you guys know as soon as possible. I mean, we just found out last night Maddie wasn't home though, so we couldn't let you know then, but we wanted to let you know we wanted to let you know there is closure now for one more family and good job, bud. Good job, yeah. crew. I mean, good job everyone that put in work. And, for and I will say I was very disappointed to see all of the negative comments about bud on social media when this first broke and I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't think it matters how you feel about him or rather not you like him. Like Rachel's family gets to bring their baby home yeah, because I, of him. I think that a big part of the negative is that he waited to release it, but it was probably for the family. It was for the family. He, he told the family told, asked him to wait to release the name yeah. until they had released it until they had Said something made the announcement themselves. And he did that the second they made their announcement on their website. 
he posted his he posted video. it and that gave them time to notify the rest of the family that gave them time to get here because not everybody lives in the area mm -hmm. and I don't think it matters if you like him or if you like how he handled it or if you think he was he brought holding off for ratings or whatever. It doesn't matter. He brought her home. Like, be yeah. nice. Yeah. But crazy. It's crazy, you guys. So we're super excited that we get to bring you this news and we'll keep you updated if we hear more information or we get yeah. any new whenever, information. Whenever we hear something, we'll... Obviously, you guys will be the first ones to know that we found something. Yeah. So, I mean, that's it. I yeah. Mean, she was found. She's home. So, that's what matters. Yeah, the closure. That's yeah. what really matters. All right. Thanks for listening, you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Say goodbye.